We are at home number 16, built by Interstate Home. This home is for sale. This home is called the Praia at Copper Rock and is being sold for $2,400,000 and the price without the lot is $1,950,000. The total living square footage space is 3,286 square feet. This home offers five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms. This home is one level and a three car garage. Let's go check it out. I love this grand entrance and the wood ship lock at the top. This is beautiful. That's a must. So right to the left of this home, we're in this first bedroom. Some pretty cool views through those windows oh, too. Yeah. Some cool looking subway tile. Yeah. The shower's so tiny bit narrow, but it's still like usable. It's like narrow but deep. Yeah. And look how big this, this closet's massive. For being just your standard little walk-in closet. And then here's the entryway. We've got three, four big windows. Lots of natural light in here. Wow. A large open floor plan. One of the biggest fans I've ever seen in a home. That is our biggest fan. That is my biggest fan. I'm it your biggest your fan. You're your biggest fan if you would like to purchase this home as well. The pendant lights hanging from the, the center island is awesome. And I'm loving these velvet blue chairs. I've kind of been obsessed with velvet lately. They look super comfy. It's so classy. But the Bosch stainless steel appliances. She got an induction top here, Bosch. Mm -hmm. But these pendant lights are just awesome. They've got crystals. Anytime there's a super tall ceiling, I absolutely love seeing pendant light fixtures because it makes them look just so much more interesting. Check out this table. This is awesome. With the blue velvet chairs. And like every light fixture that I'm seeing in all these homes are I've never seen before. Super cool. It is a super intricate. I'm sure that was fun to hang. I'm blown away by all of the interior design ideas. And this mirror right here is outlined with the same granite that is on the center island. So it's matching the center island yeah. perfectly. I didn't even realize it was a mirror. It makes this room feel so much bigger. Yeah. We've got a hidden like pantry. I love that. Sweet finished panel look. I wish they had a panel fridge to match. Got a huge bar area back here. Lots of cabinetry, some floating shelves. More storage for your food. Room for a vacuum. That's a great spot. Yeah. Steam mop and a vacuum. Well, the kitchen and the family room are the areas that you use it most, so it's conveniently located there. Got a room right here. We'll pop right in here. And you can access the backyard from this room. So you've got a private entry. You can enter this from the backyard. And just sneak out for snacks because the pantry's right there. So that's nice. <laughs> it's the best room I would, this would be my room. So many different, like every home is so visually stimulating. There's so many different tiles, mixes. And I, I love seeing what the designers are going to put together. So this penny tile looks like real pennies. It's copper. And well, we're in copper rock. Yeah. And these, there's kind of some copperish color in this marble, so. And it runs all the way to the ceiling. Flows really well. So we've seen one bedroom so far, right? I've seen two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Uh huh. Two bedrooms, kitchen, family room. Look at the wood accent on the top of this deck. Matches the front entrance. I'm a entrance. huge sucker for the wood accents on the underneath of the decks. So you've got a spa. Little seating area down here next to the fire pit. It's a cool little little dugout. And it looks like there's some lighting on the steps. So you've got your fireplace, so some lighting down here. So a lot of these homes that are zoned as vacation rentals. You have the main house, and then that's the part of the home that we just explored, and this is your detached casita. So no, when you own a property like that- this is your detached bowling alley. So it's used as a bowling alley right now, but a lot of these homes 
have these detached casitas where if you rented out the main house, you're still able to come and enjoy your stay in a guest house or vice versa. So, so if it's your second home, the cash flow on that property supports the ownership. Got your outdoor shower here, your pool equipment back there behind that gate. Nice and tucked away. What? Look at the size of those bowling balls. They're little balls, huh? Look, can you look in here? This is how, this is how, this we, is roll. how we roll. That is so cool. And you've got your scoreboard that you can, it's hard to tell, but it's hanging from the ceiling it's up there. from the ceiling the other way. Yeah. That is cool. Miniature bowling alley. So this just wraps around to the front of the home. I love that these metal beams are supporting the overhang and it's a nice, elegant, yet industrial looking touch. Good size patio, double slider. Take a look at that kitchen one more time. Beautiful, lots of natural light. If you notice, there's rectangle windows that align the entire room kitchen. All the way around this perimeter. And you kind of see the mountain skyline and blue sky. It doesn't get any better. Kids room, bunk room. It's interesting how this room has- Triple bunks. Triple bunks, but the way you enter it, so it could be, um, you know, it could have multiple uh, purposes because you could use this as an entertainment area if you didn't have those bunk beds. These look like the coziest chairs I've ever seen. Like They do a, look super cozy. Like cl little clouds. Look at that funky tile. Caution, this is a kid's bathroom. I have no control here. Isn't that the truth? This yes. tile is so fun. I love it. Stackable oh. washer and dryer. Better make your kids do their own laundry. I'd like to see that happen. <laughs> And I love how this tile is consistent. It just flows through all the way to the shower. And the shower, of course, they have to use something different. Beautiful. What do we have here? Oh, this just is the garage that will pass through the home. So you've got your laundry room right here. Yeah, well, I think that's the way we exit now. Yeah, that's how we exit, but. Okay, we'll be back for years of this. Did you, did you see the flooring? Isn't that cool? So cool. It's cool how it meets. Let me check out this half bath. We have two more, two more bedrooms on this end of the house, huh? This room has its own private access entrance. The side of the property. Look at these lamps. Look at the nightstands. I absolutely love how they decorated this place. Got an ensuite. Mm -hmm. The shower kind of tucked behind. Tile to the, it's like a matte, matte navy that kind of matches the bedroom. Got another bedroom right here. Also has a slider to the north of the property. A lot of money was spent on windows and doors in this house. Oh, yeah. yeah check out this. This is awesome. Oh, that is so trippy. Yeah. The longer you stare at this tile, the more it takes to tell if it's uh, if it's cubes, boxes, or got another rhomboids. Vanity with some floating shelves right behind here. Like great use of space. You've got a second vanity. Uh-huh. Hello, sweet cheeks. Love that. And then there's absolutely no shortage of views from literally every bedroom in this house. Are we just down to the garage? I love these see-through garage doors. I absolutely loved it. How'd you guys feel about this home? What would you rate it on a scale of one to 10? Would you purchase this home as an investment home for a vacation rental? That's what this home was designed for. I think the functionality of it is absolutely awesome and this location is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. What did you think, Nick? I loved it. I think that it is one of those things that you could easily justify as a second home purchase because I don't like to look at any of our real estate as something that just sits and doesn't produce income. And when I say this as a second home purchase, if you're able to comfortably own a second home and allow for it to produce a little bit of income to pay for the utilities and not sit vacant while you're not using it, something like this is absolutely perfect because here in Copper Rock, you're really close. You're able to travel to this house and 
not have to worry about commuting for long because you can fly into St. George Airport. You're able to uh, drive in from I-15. There's actually a new overpass from SR7 that allows you to have this incredible, mind-blowing, beautiful, scenic drive all the way to this property from basically the moment you land in Southern Utah at SGU. The entire drive here is a drive worth driving just for fun. And then once you get here, you have this incredible experience. So if I was in the market for a second home, especially if I traveled all the time and I lived someplace cold, I would absolutely want to be here because you know, we take this for granted, but it's the middle of February and right now it is sunny and 57 degrees outside. So if you see your winters spent here at Copper Rock, contact us. Siri just confirmed, so it looks sunny to me.